So what are you doing now, Dave? Well, raising up the race lands a bit. <clears throat> you know, race land. We gotta have them, you know, up high enough so we don't have any problems. Cause we just wanna put the wheels on and drive. We don't wanna be rubbing and fucking with suspension and adjusting camber and all that bullshit right now. Your head is so white right now. That's cause all the blood's in my dick. How's your day been so far, Dave? It's good. I'm a little confused right now. Um, the reason I am confused is because um, the Raceland coilovers. Um, that's not a good idea to do what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. The Raceland coilovers. Now, normally with the coilover, you come with two keys. One of them is a different size than the other, so you can lock and unlock. But Raceland has done that in the front. But in the back, they've put two large keys on. So you don't have two tools to lock it. So you kind of just fucking hope and pray. And that's it. I'm going to get a 22 because that fucking crash bolt over there isn't in. I thought it was, it isn't. So you're feeling 22? Just a little bit. By the way, these coils are much easier to adjust if you fucking load them with PB Blaster. I'm gonna explain something, hold on. You always say I'm too I'm too I'm too tight on camera. I'm like like I'm on camera. But what I want to talk about is this. Right here. This right here is a hub centric ring. It's plastic, and this one right here, these are definitely made in China. Now, whether or not they do anything, I don't really know, especially when they're cheap plastic like this. But what I wanted to say was, one time, now I've had many sets of wheels, like 30 something. One time, I looked at a bill of sale from some wheels I bought, and I was charged $25 for four of these rings, which is insane. But now, I've got so many sets of wheels that I have hundreds of hub-centric rings. I don't know what to fucking do with them. But still, I will forget to put them on the car. So now i got to take the wheel back off and put this on the car to center it hub-centrically. That's it. It's very cold out. I wish it, I wish it wasn't so cold. Alright, well I need the, the smaller of the two. Yeah, you know you're on camera right now? Really? Yeah, well I'm talking to you on camera, so you'll probably put, see put it on later. speaker. But um hey, um what was I was gonna ask you a question. Oh, how do you turn off the rear wheel too? Yeah. Something else. What the fuck was that? A SIM card slot? <laughs> Buddy, I plugged into a SIM card slot. How do you do that? Because you're a computer illiterate? Those on those on that side isn't USB? <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple. <laughs> Why does it say offline? Come on, you dick. <laughs> oh, it's got to be plugged into the ECU as well. <laughs> Dave, what are you doing right now? I'm trying to figure out why K-Pro's not working, and then like, you know, after a couple minutes of thinking, then I find the end of it right here. <laughs> Dumbass.
<laughs> You're the man, Dave. I'm the man now, dog. On data. You like my glove box? Take a shot of that. I got in a little car accident when I first got the car and the glove box fell out and never really stayed in right. That's awesome. Turn the key off and on. Okay. Uh -huh. ECU now connected. Okay, so this is going up here. We're here, the car is finally on the ground, and it has like wheels and all that kind of stuff. I can see the alignment's off so fucking bad. This wheel's straight, the other wheel's turned out. Um, so, it overheated quite quickly, within a minute, uh, the first time around. But that's because we discovered no engine coolant, no coolant in the engine. It was only in the radiator. So now we filled it up, and this time it started to burp a little bit, and the, um, the you know, it, it took a little while for it to get hot. So we're hoping now we're on level ground so we can get the proper amount of coolant in it and then we're going to back it down my driveway and hopefully that incline enough uh, will burp the cool. Now Dave's very stressed very right stressed. now. I'm very stressed. I'm very paranoid. And he's Every time I hear a noise I think a head gasket blows. I'm, I'm very stressed to the max. Boys and girls don't be surprised if we're going to buy another engine next week no, come on, because, he, uh, because he hears a little noise. No. I want this one to work buddy. I just want it to work for me. No. You want to put this on? Yeah, sure. Hi everybody, All right, we're going to give it a first test drive with the new engine in it. i um, been trying to bleed it out a little bit. It's idling like garbage, but hopefully that will come down with the coolant that bleeds. It's sitting at 206.1 degrees for a very long time now. And we got the fucking multiplexer to work. We got it to work. We got a coolant gauge like a normal human being. Alright, shall we ride? Let's ride. Watching that sucker? Yeah, yeah. I wonder what we forgot to look up. Oh, that's a weird clutch. The seat's not bolted enough. Not really. Hey, is it weird I don't have to engage the clutch to shift? <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. Dude, how hot are we? Oh, it's coming down. 202 degrees. Yeah, we're, we gotta give it. We gotta give it a few drive cycles so it, you know, the, the air can get it, you know, cooling and circulate. Oh, starting to catch. I gotta remember about that. Yeah, we gotta adjust that. Do you feel like a pilgrim going to Plymouth Rock? Oh, dude, it's getting hot. All right, don't calm down. Okay, what's the gauge say? Gauge is fucking wrong. Don't be paranoid, David. We'll be okay. Okay. Okay, honey. Okay, honey. Okay, it's got the overheating check engine light now. I'm gonna shut it off. All right, baby boo. Oh God, here we are. What's the DTC? Go to window. All right, window. I got it. Uh, click the uh, the little arrow there. What little arrow? Yep. And then go to window. Window. And go to error. Dave, what happened? Uh, she overheated a bit. Well, I mean, she overheated for what I would call not overheating. The gauge never went hot. It threw the CEL at 219 degrees, which I think is very conservative for overheating. Um, so I'm just kind of slowly backing the car off a hill down a street, and I'm going to pull to the side so we don't get killed, you know. I don't want to curb up my new reams. And now we're off the main road. We can set the emergency brake. 
and but we're in the middle of a side road. Yeah, of course. I would not. I would fucking kid you not. So, I have to say that the Comp Stage 2 clutch is a lot heavier than um, what you're used to. Definitely. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm very hungry. Then why don't you eat with me? Because I got no money, buddy. Oh. I'm going to have a snack when we get back. I'll, I'll get you something. No, it's okay, buddy. Let's take the EP3 there. Oh, we can shut that off. No one's here. Why don't you turn the ignition off? Now, I gotta say, that was quite uh, a reunion, me just driving the car fucking, you know, a couple thousand yards. It was quite a reunion. I haven't driven an EP3 in about 79 days now. Uh, I really enjoyed that, that little short ride until the check engine light came on, of course. Um, so we're just letting it cool down now. The radiator fans are on and all that. And uh, once it cools back down, I'm going to bring it to the garage and do some snacking slash... Um, Burping? Burping. Why, why don't you turn, like, turn off the ignition? There you go. Okay. Don't want to kill the battery now. We don't want to kill anything, but I want to show you something. Because race car, this comes off. You see that? And look, Whoa. and then... Goes right back on. It's Whoa. because race car. Do you have that in your van? No. Do you have that in your van? I didn't think you had that in your van. So we have the engine running now, the car drives, took it for a test drive, but uh, we're having some problems bleeding the coolant, it's uh, overheating a lot, um, it's to be expected though, of course, we'll uh, figure it out though, it's uh, just a couple more uh, burps and uh, we should be uh, good to go, I hope so. Hey dude, don't make it bad. Take a sad suburb and make it better. Remember to let it into your heart. We need your art to make it better. Hey dude, don't be afraid. Move into